all right what's up guys it's your boy will back with another video now i hope you guys are enjoying your saturday i'll try to make this one quick this video will be about four stocks okay four stocks that can rock it monday and these four stocks are very undervalued okay so two stocks they're two Chinese companies. You know what's been going on with China. These two stocks, I think they have a potential reversal. So they'll be the first two stocks. And the second two stocks are two stocks that are very undervalued that I think will have some potential to go higher next week. Okay. So I'll give you guys these key levels for the stocks. Also, some of you guys have been commenting about the stocks. So I decided to make the video for you guys. So thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to smash that like button. Let's try to get the video over 70 likes. I really appreciate it. Subscribe, turn your post notifications so you don't miss the updates. I do post every day around 5 p.m. Central Time, so you do not miss a video. Now, before I go any further, make sure you leave a comment below. Okay, comment the stock that you guys are watching, that you guys have, and then whichever stock gets the most likes or the best stocks that I see, then I'll make that video. I'll put the stocks in the video for Sunday. Okay, so again, thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to smash that like button. Now, the first stock we'll be talking about is New Oriental Education, ticker symbol EDU. Okay, this stock has been dropping like crazy because of the China stuff that is going on. Okay, and it's finally getting some stabilization. Okay, finally getting some stabilization. Now, every time it kind of starts building some stabilization, it turns into a nice potential scalp play. Okay, nice potential scalp play every time it starts slowing down. So after it has that hard move, it slows down, we have that scalp play, right? Has that hard move, slows down, scalp right here, scalp right there. Okay, slow down, fell, slow down, scalp right here, to there. Okay, fell down, scalp, falling down again. So I'll give you guys the levels that I'm looking for. For a potential scalp play and again it is a penny stock and very volatile stock so you always want to be careful with the stock like this but i'll give you the levels that i am watching so the first level that i am looking to actually exit i'll give you the exit exit level first is around three dollars so three dollars is my exit target now my exit target that does not mean i'll hold to the exit target okay i'll be taking percentages off until it hits that exit target okay so i'll probably take off half at 20 percent and the other half at that three dollar mark and then i'll be looking to buy i'll be looking to buy at two dollars and ten cents so fairly close to where price is now that's why i wanted to go ahead and make the video for you guys so on monday i think the level will hit okay so 210 is the area that i'm looking for that buying pressure Okay, if I see confirmation right there, I will send that signal out on the buy and sell signal. So make sure you join that. It's pinned in the comments and linked in the description for options and shares if you want to know what I'm buying and selling. But that's a nice potential of around 43%. So I said at 20%, like around 250, I'll take off half the position. Then I'll hold the other half of the position to that $3 mark. Okay. But we might see a potential reversal in the stock. Now, it might not go all the way up here. But I do think it will have some room for some legs to run a little higher. Okay, so watch that stock. And these are the main levels I'm looking for. It. Next one is Tal Education. Okay, ticker symbol T-A-L. Now, on this stock, it's the same as the other one. Okay, I think it might have a potential reversal. It has a lot of scalp plays in here. Okay, dropped hard. You can scalp all that. Probably could have held for like four days. Dropped hard scale that drop hard scale that now drop hard again and now i'm looking for that next potential uh scaling up so the exit level that i'll be looking at is around nine dollars let me zoom in a little bit okay so the exit level that i'll be looking at is nine dollars and again i'll probably be taking off partials that's why i say uh make sure you know buy and sell signals so you can know when i am taking those partials off and when i'm holding and actually when i start buying so around nine dollars and then 550 is the level that i'll be looking to buy and i'll uh zoom in a little bit so you can see it just a little more clear 550 so right here okay in this area i'll be looking to buy okay so i do want it to drop some more 
right? I want to see a little more drop. We had a little push right here, but I want to come down a little bit. I want to get that buying confirmation right there around that 550 level. And then if we do see that, then I think that would be a good, nice scalp play. About a 62% return. So maybe around 25%. I'll take off half around seven dollars and then i'll hold the rest to around a nine dollar figure okay so that's a potential reversal play and scout play that i see on ticker symbol t-a-l okay now don't forget to like the uh, video smash that like button let's try to get over 70 likes and don't forget to comment the stock down below next one i have a lot of questions about this one sava stock okay cast of a scientist uh sciences ticker symbol s-a-v-a -A. now what happened with this stock okay huge drop it went from like 146 to all the way to like 69 okay and i think it's a reaction to the company's um recent biomaker data so you kind of have to be uh, weary on science companies like this it's just like an open lab study that they're doing so i think the study did not go well but it also presented a nice opportunity to buy the stock okay this was an old buying level as you can see acted as a resistance and fell so we'll take that off now the levels that i'll be looking at to buy is let's see so the level that i'll be looking at to buy is around 60 dollars okay so i actually wanted to drop a little more I think around that $60 mark, we'll start seeing that buying pressure on the stock. So let me turn that green. Okay, so around $60 is I think we'll start seeing that buying pressure on the stock. And then I'll be looking for an exit around 73 Okay, so nice potential scalp play. Uh, where did the level go? So yeah, around 73 I'll be looking to exit right there. So that's a nice potential gain. Let's see. Nice, nice like 20% scalp. Okay. So I think it's a nice 20% uh, scalp. Again, we have to wait for that buying confirmation around that 60 level. And then if we do see that, I'll send that signal out, like I said. And then that'll be a nice entry to see around 73 for a nice potential scalp play. Okay. As you can tell in the hard drive, I had a scalp play right there, I had a scalp play right here. So I do think there is another one potentially around that $60 level. So kind of watch that. Okay. Now, the last one is pin stock. I have a lot of questions about this one as well. So let me just clear the chart. Okay, so pins, hard drop, they just had their earnings. Okay, so as expected. Now, key level that I actually want to start buying the stock and um, as an exit target as well. So let's see. The level is around 57.70. Fairly close to where price is now. Okay. That's why I'm trying to put you guys' eyes on it since it is getting fairly close. So, around 57.70 is where I'll be looking for some buying. Now, this buying level can change depending on how it moves Monday. Because if it starts going up higher Monday, I might enter on a higher buying level on Monday. Like I said, make sure you join the buying and sell signals for that. Okay. So, I might start entering on a higher uh, buying level Monday. If it doesn't drop down to around this uh, 50 58 area okay Cause around this area i'll be looking for the buying pressure but if this starts going higher then i would change the buying pressure and i'll move the buying pressure up a little bit and i'll probably enter on the intraday okay and the level that i'll be looking to scalp i at least want a minimum 10 percent so minimum 10 percent will take me to about 63 dollars okay so at 63 dollars i'll take off about half of the position and then after i take that half of the position off I will just let it run. Okay, so if it runs higher, that's fine. I'll kind of manage it as it goes higher. But if it starts coming back down, if it start if it breaks down below 62, I'll go ahead and take the profit and I'll exit out the play. So I'll take 50% around that 63 to 64 level, around 10%. And then if I'll wait for it to fall back down but below 62. And if it does, I'll go ahead and exit the play. Okay, but just the main level I'll be looking for that buying pressure around 5770. Okay. Now with pen stock, it dropped hard on earnings, right? So using your earnings whenever it drops hard, it might be one more day down and then it'll start kind of slowly graduating up. So that's what I'm trying to capitalize on for pen stock. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Enjoy your Saturday.
Be safe on the weekends and always remember no recommendation of buyers or anything. This is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.